Hello friends. In this video, we are going to see about the Norman Conquest of England. The Norman Conquest of England was the 11th century invasion and occupation by England, England by an army of Norman, Breton, Flemish, and French soldiers led by the Duke of Normandy, later styled William the Conqueror. Let's begin this video, friends. William climbs to the English throne, English throne derived from his familiar relationship with the childless Anglo-Saxon King Edward the Confessor who may have encouraged William's hope for the throne. Edward died in January 1066 and was succeeded by his brother-in-law, Harald Godwinson, the Norwegian King Harald Hardrada invaded Northern England in September 1066 and, victor and was victorious. Uh, sorry, victorious at the Battle of Fulford, but the Godwinson army defeated and killed Hardrada at the Battle of uh, Stamford Bridge on 25 September within uh, days. William landed in Southern England. Harold marked south to oppose him, leaving a significant portion of an uh, of his army in the north. Harold's army confronted William's invaders on the 14 October of the Battle of Hastings. William forces defeated Harold who was killed in the engagement. Although William's main rivals were gone, he still faced rebellions over the following years and was not secure on his throne until after 1072. The lands of a resisting English allied were confiscated. Some of the allied fled into exile. To control his new kingdom, William granted lands to his followers and built castle commanding military. Strong points throughout the land with the Domus De Book, a manuscript record of the great survey of much of England and part of Wales being completed by uh, uh, 1086. Other effects of the co con conquest included the court and the government, the introduction of the Norman language as uh, the language of the elites and uh, changing in the composition of the upper classes uh, as William inferred lands to hail directly from the king. Uh, more gradually, changes affected the agriculture classes and villages life. The main changes appear to have been the formal elimination of slavery which have or may not have been linked to the invasion. There was little alteration in the structure of government as the new Norman administration administrators took over many of the forms of Anglo-Saxon government. Now we can see about the origin of the in nine. In 911, the Carolingian French ruler Charles the Simple allowed a group of Vikings under their leader Rollo to settle in a Normandy as part of the Treaty of St. Clair's Sur Epti. In exchange for the land, the Norsemen under Rollo were accepted to provide protection along the coast against further Viking invaders. Their settlement provided successful and the Vikings in the region belong became known as the North Northmen from which Normandy and Normans are derived. The Normans quickly adopted the indigenous culture as they became assimilated by the French re-announcing paganism and the converting to Christianity. They adopted to language de oil of their new home and added features from their own Norse, lang Norse language, transforming in it into the Norman language. Norman language. They intermarried with the with the local population and used the territory granted to them as a base to extend the frontier of the Duchy of Westward, annexing territory including the Bazin, the Cotentin Peninsula, and Avarangas in the thousand English king Athar led the 
already married Emma of Normandy, the sister of Richard to Duke of Normandy, the son Edward the Confessor, who spent many years in exiling in Normandy, succeeded to the English throne in a 1042. This led to the establishment of a power Norman interest in English politics as Edward drew heavily on his former horse for support, bringing in Norman country uh, soldiers and clerics and appointing them to position of power, particularly in the ch church, childless and embroiled in conflict with the formidable Godwin, Earl of uh, Wessex and his son. Uh, Edward may also have encouraged Duke William of Normandy amb ambition of for the English throne. When, uh, when King Edward died at the beginning of uh, 1066, the lack, uh, the lack of a clear heir led to the disputed succession on which several contenders laid claims to the throne of England. Edward's immediate successor was the Earl of uh, Wessex. Harold Godwinson, the richest and the most powerful of the English uh, aristocrats. Harold was the elected king by the uh, White Nagamot of the England and crowned by the Orpies Shop of York. Uh, Eldrad, although Norman propaganda, propaganda claimed the ceremony was performed by uh, uh, Stig and uh, the Uncanomaly, uh, sorry, uncanonically elected Archbishop of Canterbury. Harold was immediately changed by two powerful neighbors rulers. Duke William claimed that he had been promised the throne by King Edward in Norway, commonly known as the Harald Harada, sorry, and that Harold had sworn agreements to this. King Harald III of Norway, commonly as known as the Harald Hardada, also contested the succession. His claims to the throne was based on the agreement between the, his predecessor, sorry, predecessor Magnus the Good and the earlier English king Harthaknut, whereby if they died without the heir, the other would inherit both England and Norway. William and Harald at once set about assembling troops and ships to invade England. Tarstic raids and Norway now. Norwegian invasion. In early 1066, Harald's exiled brother, Tarstig Godwinson, raided southern eastern, sorry, southeastern England with a fleet by fleet he had recreated in Flanders, later joined by other ships from him. Orkany returned by Harald's fleet. Thorstig moved north and raided in East Anglia and Lincoln Shrine, but he have driven back to his ship by the brothers Edwin, Earl of Mercara and Morcar, Earl of uh, Earl of uh, Northumbria, deserted by the most of his followers. Thorstig withdrew to, to Scotland, where he spent the summer. Uh, Recruiting uh, fresh forces, King Harald spent the summer on the south coast with a large army and uh, fled waiting for uh, William to invade. But uh, the bulk of his force were mil militia, militia who needed to harvest their crops. So on uh, 8 September, Harald dismissed uh, them. Harald uh, invaded northern in England in uh, early September, leading a fleet of more than 300 ships carrying uh, perhaps. 15,000 men. Harald's army was further uh, augmented by the forces of Torstigs, who, through his support, being the Norwegian uh, king's bid for the throne, advancing on York, the Norwegian defeated a uh, northern English army under uh, Edwin and Morcar on uh, 20 September at the Battle of Fulford. The two earls uh, had rushed to engage the Norwegian force before Harold could arrive from the south. Although Harold Godwinson had married Edwin and Mokas, sister Earl de Gith, now the two earls may have distressed Harold and feared that the king would replace Morcar with Tostig. The end result was that their force were 
devastated and unable to participate in the rest of the campaign of 1066, although the two earls survived the battle. Harar Hardada, sorry, Hard, Hard Rada moved on to York, which, which surrendered to him after taking hostages from the leading men of the city. On 24 September, the Norwegian moved east to the tiny village of uh, Stamford Bridge. King Harald probably learned of the Norwegian invasion in mid-September and rushed north gathering forces as he went. The royal force probably took nine days to cover the distance from London to York, averaging almost 25 miles per day. At dawn on 25 September, Harald's forces reached York, where he learned the location of Norway. The English they marched on the invaders and took uh, where uh, took were killed and the Norwegians suffered such as horrific losers that only 24 of the original 300 ships were required to carry away the survivors. The English victory was costly however as a Harle army was left in a battered and weakened state and far from the English channel. Uh, that's the thing I came to say in this video friends. Thanks for watching this video friends.